Hey guys, Miss Rupa here and I'm coming to you with another experiment that you can do at home with things that you have at home. Uh, today we are going to be making a rainbow in a glass and we're going to be talking a little bit about water density. Um, if you remember in our first video with the floating ink, density is if something will sink and if something will float. So we're going to be testing that out with different water filled with sugar and we're going to be putting some food coloring in those to make layers that look like a rainbow. So. The first thing that you're going to want to do is get some warm water. The reason that you need the warm water is because you're going to be adding sugar to it and you want that sugar to dissolve. Um, so I have gone ahead and already filled my glasses with half a cup of warm water. So each glass got half a cup of warm water. The next thing that you want to do is go ahead and kind of decide what layers, what color layers you want. So. My bottom layer that's gonna have the most sugar in it is going to be yellow. The next layer is gonna be green. The next layer is gonna be red. And my top layer is hopefully going to be blue. Um, you wanna kind of think about the colors because some colors mix more than others when you're adding food coloring. And when you're working with food coloring, you always wanna put down a paper towel because food coloring can stain the surface of your countertop. So just a little heads up. Um, the next step, we're going to go ahead and add one, um, some different amounts of sugar. So the first cup, my yellow cup, is going to have the most sugar. Um, you need three tablespoons. If you do not have a tablespoon measuring spoon, you can use one of the child, uh, the children's medicine cup. Um, and this is 15 mLs, 15 milliliters, and you need one, okay? That equals one tablespoon. So in our first cup, we need three tablespoons. So I'm going to go ahead and put in three tablespoons. And that is three, okay? In my next cup, I need two tablespoons. So I'm only gonna put two of these little medicine cups. Okay, um, in the next cup, which is my red, we're gonna have one tablespoon. Okay, and then when you are done with your sugar, you can put that away. And the next step is that you are going to want to mix, okay? Now you want to make sure that the sugar is completely dissolved in each of these cups. Okay, so now you're gonna take your food coloring and you're gonna add a couple of drops. So since my yellow is a little bit light, I'm gonna add maybe three drops of yellow. And I'm gonna mix. And the last part for our very top layer, hopefully we are going to have a nice little blue layer, a happy little blue layer. Okay, so now I have a very small little glass here that we are going to be making our layers in. You need to add 20 mLs of each color. So I have a handy dandy syringe for children's medicine. And um, one whole syringe is 10 ml. So we need two syringes of each color. Um, the main thing is that you have to be patient and you have to pour slowly into the glass. Cause if you pour right in the middle, if you take it and just drop it in, it's going to automatically mix and you're gonna get like a black color. Um, so let's try it together. And again, I'm gonna to try to pour as slowly as I can. 
into our glass. Okay, so we have our yellow layer. Now our yellow layer is the one with the most sugar, right? This one, our green layer, is the one with the second most. So we have two tablespoons in this one. So again, 20 mLs. And this is where you wanna kinda of pour as slowly as you can. Okay, so if you can see, we have a really cool yellow layer. We have a green color, all right? I'm really excited right now. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and do our red. Okay, I don't know if you can tell that I'm excited, but I am. Because <laughs> we tried this before and it was a little bit of a murky black color, so this is a step in the right direction. Okay, let's check it out. All right, all right. Again, I'm really excited right now. And our top layer is going to be our dark layer, our blue. All righty, let's hit it up right here. And remember, this blue layer did not have any sugar in it. Okay, and let's check it out. You guys can see that the, the yellow layer has the most sugar, so it's gonna settle more at the bottom. And as we gradually have less and less and, and eventually no sugar, you can see the different layers and that's the, that's the amount that we need. So you can see the different colors of our sugar water. Um, and I will try to hold this up for you guys and so that you can see the different layers. We have our yellow, green, red, and blue. All right, guys, I'm challenging you to try this at home and see if you can make a rainbow in a glass. So I wanted to go over the why of our experiment. So why did we do that and how did we do it? There are a couple of key terms that I wanted to talk to you about. And the first one is density. And the second one is particles. So the sugar particles are small enough that they fill in the gaps between the water particles. As we add more sugar, um, the space between the water particles ends up being filled and we end up having a higher density. So in the cup, in the yellow cup, the one we added the yellow food coloring to, we had three tablespoons of sugar, and that's a lot. So that means that that cup had a higher density, and things with a higher density are going to sink to the bottom. So in each cup, we added a little bit less sugar and a little bit less sugar until we had a cup that had no sugar at all. So the cup that had no sugar at all was less dense because it didn't have any sugar weighing it down. So that's why that cup, the blue cup, was able to sit at the top. So the yellow cup was our high density cup because it had more sugar. And then the blue cup, our blue food coloring cup, had no sugar in it at all. So that's why it was less dense and floated right up to the top. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I super enjoyed it. Um, I'm so glad that it worked. Um, if you try it, I would love to see pictures and videos of you guys doing it. Also, if you have an experiment that you have found that you would like to see me do on a video for your friends, um, let me know by putting a comment and on the YouTube channel 
or sending me a message on Seesaw or my school email, I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. And I hope that everybody is having an awesome Wednesday.